Hello and welcome to the Proof Learning channel. In this video, we'll explain the how to divide two algebraic expressions or polynomials by using long division. In the beginning, we have to remember that when we divide two exponential expressions that have the same base, we just subtract exponents like x power 2 divided by x equals x and y power 4 divided by y square is equal to y square. By the same way, x power 3 y power 4 divided by xy equal to x square y power 3. And likewise, 15 x square y square over 3xy square equals 5x. And don't forget that we couldn't divide any algebraic expression by 0 because this division by 0 has no sense. After we remember the rule of division by dividing the terms that have the same base, let's see the steps of dividing an algebraic expression by another one. First, we must draw the long division sign like this. And then we play the large expression here. And it's called the dividend. And we place the small expression here. And it's called the divisor. Then we will place the result here, which is called the quotient. Then we follow in order the following three operations. Division, multiplication, and subtraction. And we repeat these steps in order until we get zeros. Now, let's see an example. Find the quotient of x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. To do this, we will start by drawing the division sign like this. Then, we write the dividend. Then, we write the divisor like this. And remember that we are going to use the following three operations. First, dividing x squared by x. So we get x and write it here. Then the second step is multiply x by the expression x plus 2. So we get x squared plus 2x and write it here. And don't forget to write the like terms below each other, like this. The third step is to subtract the expression x squared plus 2x from the expression x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we get 3x plus 6. Always noting that when we subtract, the first two terms are cancelled together. Then we repeat the previous steps in order again. We divide 3x by x, then we get 3. And now we have to multiply 3 by the expression x plus 2. And we get 3 times x equals 3x. 3 times 2 equals 6. Now we get 3x plus 6. Then subtracting the two expressions from each other. Now we get 0. Thus the division operation is finished. And the quotient is x plus 3. And the remainder is 0. Let's take another example. In this example, we want to find the quotient of 2y negative 3 plus 5y squared divided by 1 plus y. First, we have to write the two terms below each other in order according to y. Therefore, we have to arrange the terms of the dividend and divisor ascendingly according to the power of the given symbol which is y. But it's better to arrange the terms in descending order. Thus, after arranging the terms of dividend and divisor, the dividend will be 5y squared plus 2y minus 3 divided by y plus 1. Now follow the three steps of division. So we will start by dividing 5y squared by y. Then we get 5y and write it here. Then we have to multiply 5y by y plus 1. 
So we get 5y times y equal 5y square. Then 5y times 1 equal 5y. Then we subtract the two expression from each other. So we get negative 3y, negative 3. When we get zeros, the remainder of the division, we will repeat the steps again until we get zeros. Dividing negative 3y by y, we get negative 3. And then we have to multiply negative 3 by y plus 1. Then we have negative 3 times y equal negative 3y. Negative 3 times 1 equal negative 3. Then we have negative 3y negative 3. Then by subtract the two expression, we get zeros. And then now we have finished our division. And the quotient is 5y negative 3. And the remainder is zero. Let's see the last example. And with different idea. In this example, if the expression 3x squared negative 10x plus m is divisible by x negative 3. Find the value of m. Now, since 3x squared negative 10x plus m is divisible by x negative 3, it means that our remainder is zero. Therefore, we will follow the same steps of the division and then the end will be zero. We will start by drawing the sign of division like this. Then we write the dividend and write the divisor and make sure that both of terms of the dividend and divisor are arranged in a descending order according to power of x, like this. So we start by, di by dividing 3x squared by x, so we get 3x, and right here. Then we multiply 3x by the expression x negative 3, we get 3x times x equal 3x squared, and 3x times negative 3 equal negative 9x. Then by subtracting the two expression, we will get negative x plus m. Then we repeat the division steps again. So by dividing negative x by x, we get negative 1. And write it here. Then multiply negative 1 by the expression x negative 3. Negative 1 times x equal negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 equal positive 3. Then we get negative x plus 3. Now by subtract the two expression, we get m negative 3. We know that the two expressions are divisible. It means that the, our remainder equals 0. It means that m negative 3 equals 0. Then we have m negative 3 equals 0, it means that m equals 3. Finally, note that when we arrange the expression and we don't find one of the terms, we leave an empty place for it. One of the factors of the expression means that it's divisible by that expression. I hope that the explanation was perfect. Thanks for listening and see you next time.